right, guys, who should you follow to understand about historical ninja today? Now, who should we be following? Now, I'm going to pick the English language specialist and I'm going to do them in subscriber order from monsters to the top for those struggling at the bottom like me trying to get up there. So um, this list of the people you should be subscribed to. You should be watching every single one of their videos and you should be keeping up to date. OK, now the number one is the Shogunate, Nick from the Shogunate. Now, I spoke to Nick way back when he had about three or 4,000 subscribers and uh, he was starting out and he was very nice, very polite. He knows his stuff. He's a good researcher. He's a nice man. And he's got to the top of the list on samurai, uh, basically history in within our sort of uh, realm. Now, there are other people out there bigger, but they don't do what's real. They don't teach the real stuff. So uh, I'm going to be honest with you, there's people out there who are getting millions of hits and they just... No, is the answer. Whereas Nick has stayed to it. He's, he's not gone off on the craziness. He's got a lot of subscribers. He's got a lot of hits. I have some of my biggest videos I've done with Nick. And he's a really, really nice guy. So get yourself over. Subscribe to the show. Gonna follow him and keep up to date with what he does. The next in the line of the biggest ones. Now, there are there is Akban around here. But um, Akban does martial arts. And doesn't do much on historical ninja. So I have con tried to contact him and talk to him about doing more on that. And he is a nice man. He's very nice. But we're going to move on to Krista Jacobson. Because Krista Jacobson, while she does uh, martial arts and heavy martial arts, she does also do and has done a lot of videos based solely on the original um, scrolls and the translations and historical ninjutsu. So Krista um, has been, uh, you should be following Krista and maybe you don't have to watch all of Krista's videos in the sense that she does a lot of martial arts. And if you're here for historical ninjutsu and, you know, historical samurai, you're not going to get that. But Krista will put out videos on the history of the samurai and on the history of the ninja and a lot of it is based from my work and I speak to Krista every day and uh, we try to create a way in which we're trying to get people involved with history through martial arts people come to ninja and samurai through martial arts and we're trying to push them over and get them on people like the shogunate site and the other people in this list because we want them to go deeper into the history so subscribe and follow her next in line of subscriber level is me Anthony Cummins with Samurai and Ninja History. Hopefully you're following me because you're watching this video, but there you go. If you haven't subscribed, like, and I don't know. And for those people who keep saying I've been shadow banned from YouTube, I have contacted YouTube and asked them directly. And I spoke to a human and they're like, no, you have not been shadow banned. I just, for some reason, my videos don't do very well. So, and they said overall, my channel is really quite high. It's quite a high ranking channel, but it might newer video, but it's basically held up by my older videos that they still doing really well. And a couple of like good high hitting videos, but on the whole, my channel is sort of, as we all know, dying, but you guys are still here and I'm happy for that. Ron is there. And it's one of the Toshi, I can't remember the pronunciation. You get always commenting on my video. So thank you very much. And, and loads of you do so thank you uh the next one is um japan at war now japan at war is stefan he focuses on korea and japan and he has he's a dead bubbly character he's awesome he's got he's loads of fun i've spoke to him on skype multiple times and he's a really nice fella he's got a very good way of presenting it he's got a lovely setup and everything i must admit i've not seen some of his recent videos which i'm gonna catch up with um because um basically i've my move i'm behind on a few videos on all these channels because i've of three months i've been moving but he is someone i specifically need to catch up with and he helps me out when i can and he's got some great stuff there so enjoy and follow him so next we have Sengoku Studies. Now Sengoku Studies is run by Scott and Scott has been really supportive of me and my channel and my stuff that I'm doing and he is a very quiet, very polite, very educated man and his aim is to get back, get us back to the Sengoku era but not just about the samurai running around with swords and guns and everything, more about what went on in the Sengoku period and what they're doing. So make sure you follow Scott. I talk to Scott quite often on the old Tinter web. I've never Skyped him yet but um, I talked to Scott and he's dead nice and he's always asking permission to do stuff he's very much respectful of everybody and he answers everybody on there on his comments so you should be following Scott because his videos are well put together they're really nice um, but again he well I'm going to talk about Stephen Nogin in a minute but Scott as well has got a problem basically with um, 
understanding YouTube sort of like, you know, what's a punchy title. You've got to sort of edge on clickbait before people will click it. So, um, and he does, you know, really complex academic titles, which a lot of people are not searching for in 2022 because the average person is a little bit not like that. So, but we need to get Scott's channel up and running and higher. Lastly, we have Tada Genji. Now, this is Stephen Nogiri, an old old associate of mine who we've been chatting for many years and he has opened multiple channels and this is his newest incarnation but um and i was talking about scott about not understanding youtube stephen has no idea about youtube he has nicely though he's put numbers at the beginning of all of his videos but he has named it tada genji nobody searches that and um, his titles are nobody would ever search in a million years. And uh, however, Stephen has a lovely voice. He's a very nice man. He's got a lovely voice. He should be a professional narrator. I don't know why he doesn't uh, look into narrating for Audible and doing that because he's got a wonderful voice and people can put him on in the background and sit there for hours. He doesn't have many subscribers and he doesn't have many subs, but most of you in the Shinobi community know about Stephen Nogieri through me and my work and we've been I've done stuff with Stephen. I've never met him in real life, but I've Skyped him for a thousand hours, if not more, thousands of hours. Uh, um, but he comes in and out of the ninja community and uh, he does his own thing. So I hope that you will follow him at Tada Genji. So let's find out. Those are the people you should be following. Some people will agree and disagree with some of them. It doesn't really matter. Each one of those channels, every single one of them, has absolutely uploaded videos on the history of Japan using historical documentation and using realistic and reliable sources. Not all of the videos are done that way. Some of the videos I, I don't agree with. But on the whole, if you're following those people, you, the viewer, will be getting a much better understanding of samurai and ninja history. So there you go. Enjoy. Enjoy.